everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Gear server, episode, well, season three, episode two with me, Sid, and uh, I'm currently alone, I'm just uh, on online, and uh, I have done a little bit of work around the place, so let me just bring you up to date. Um, the building which I started last time is more or less complete, at least externally. Uh, I have also got this. This is a ceramic hive with a, a thing which uh, I need to actually figure out what I do with that because I, I took it so far and then didn't... Uh, let's have a look. How, how do I... Hmm, let me have a look at... Uh, Oops. Ceramic honey pot. Eventually indicate take it off, place it on the ground and scrape it with a knife. Okay, I see. So we got my knife and we scrape it and we get our honeycomb, which I can squeeze, but for now we shall put that into there and we shall take you and put you back on there. The bees are out gathering, population large, good number of flowers about the place. So yeah, um, I did push ahead with this. This is Sid Summer Lake House. <laughs> um, we've, got, we've got a bread oven, we've got some, of the, some ward empty chest there uh, lots of stuff sorted out around here so uh, I don't think you've got anything in Europe yet this is largely empty spaces and then up here I've got my bed uh, and then up here we have got an attic -y kind of space which has no function I've used these bottle racks for windows um, they work I think reasonably well, and I've got me as I say, my bed up there, but I haven't got a bed bed yet because I haven't got any flax or enough flax to make linen. In fact, I just had enough flax to make a thing. Um, dried black currants. Stick them in an oven. Takes them from having like a few days to to very few days. Uh, so currently, that is my main food source. I have got largely a full set of tools with the exception of these which are here because most of these were on the way out and if I, no let me get the right key, that one, get that and then place that. This is my back chest which is currently just a standard chest, it's got a few bits and pieces in it including my gears and my raft and a bucket of water and some healing stuff. All pretty good. Just pick that up with the carry-on mod, stick it on your back and off you go. So that's where I am right now. Um, these are beams which I thought made a nice little addition to the shelf. So I'm, I'm kind of picking up new tricks for decorating and uh, they, they've got them across there as well. Um, but before we do anything, we realistically need to head back over and a, actually see what's new over at the uh, community centre. B, check up on the other thing what I did, which was I built up these these gardens. Um, now this stunted, there's an awful lot. This is a very hot biome. So turnips won't grow here. Carrots won't grow here. Uh, Spelt is stunted now. There's an awful lot. That is amarith. That should be okay because that's a hot crop. And that is your flax, which again is stunted. Most of this is just not doing very well at all. So that in itself is a bit of an issue. Um, I've not looks. Hang on. Uh, yep. Yeah, right. So I'm getting myself lost. <laughs> this garden is going to come down. Um, 
In fact, it looks like somebody's put signs. Farm must be moved due to forged permits. Thanks. Planning zoning commission. I'll wait for the crops to write and feel free to remove the temp farm at any time. So these are actually almost there. Uh, that's almost there as well. The Amarith is almost there. Those are quite a way off. But you can see there's plans to do stuff over here, which is put some uh, shops and the likes in now these are that one is actually already there so it looks like some of this is already ready for harvesting so what we should probably do is come in here and harvest the harvestables and that way it's easy to see what But I think getting flax fibers is going to be somewhat difficult um, because the crops do not grow anywhere near at the same rate as the other stuff. Now the other thing we had had problems with, oh, we appear to have got some granite slabs from the quarry. There's, we have a quarrying mod on here, which things, but the lighting in here has led to problems with drifters looks like we're okay and it also looks like we have glass because there's a feature window in here now i need to run up some copper um but i should also go and put away the seeds uh last night i redid the cellar uh which has now got lots of food in it that's got 41 days that's got 62 remember we are on 32 days so a lot of this stuff is is rotting faster than we can use it which is also going to prove to be see that that will be gone in 10 hours um, in fact I'm inclined to take some of these when I go um, that is rot, rot 9.4 days, that's all rot up there this is all stuff that's been made which has just gone out of date um, not entirely sure what the solution to that is but uh, anyway, let's have a look uh, there's your flax seeds. There's your. Don't know where we where we put that. Uh, well, for want of a better place, we'll stick it in there, and we will stick the grain in here for use later I suppose hopefully it will still be fresh in 2.4 years I think we should be all right at that point I mean it's actually summer now um, when I signed off it was still spring so that's the thing anyway ooh, got a large trough don't know why we have a large trough but apparently we do and a large book all these new things keep cropping up an extended workbench uh, not a lot of planks actually uh, how are we for copper so let me do sixty four there that's four four rings of copper so that will go there um but okay for bronze so i'll borrow the bronze because so what i've been tending to do is is to just i don't know whether there is any mileage there used to be that you spread it out equally um and i don't know how much mileage there is in doing that anymore but um i do need those so let's get that lot going i need a copper plate and i need a 
bronze plate. I need one. Damn it. Uh, so we'll get you going as well. And hopefully the reasoning for me needing a copper and bronze plate will uh, will become apparent shortly. We are going to go out and do some exploring today. Um, because, you know, well, let's, let's be brutally honest, I actually enjoy exploring. It's quite the fun job. Uh, there's all these interesting things, mixing bowls, stuff, I don't know, this makes, used for cooking, uh, okay, yeah, there's all sorts of weird things, and that, that slab under there is actually a water source, but I don't think anybody knows, because they're probably not aware of my, my predilection for hiding water sources like that, but, um, anyway, we are going to need you. And we are going to need those once we're up to temperature. We're going to need that to make our copper ingots over there. Um, let's stick you down. I want to make a plate. Plate, plate, plate. Come on, it should be obvious. There we go. Tin bronze plate. Let's um, borrow and give you a heavy hit just to get that out there and then we'll grab you and we'll add you to that and then we'll get some heavy hitting going on this better be another hammer I haven't got mine on me Oh, come on, where's all the tools gone? Oh, you're kidding me. I mean, I have a hammer. I do have one. Uh, but I haven't got it on me. All right. Um... I don't know what to do. Why have all the tools gone? Ah! So annoying. Um, finishing chisel. I don't know what half of this stuff is. Let me get this going. I'm going to have to run back and I'm probably going to have to heat that up again. Which is annoying. Oh, they might be, hang on, there's some tools there. But no hammer. Okay, uh, let's take that out, pop that in. Uh, that's going to have to be reheated anyway, so I don't think there's anything I can do there. I'm going to have to go grab a hammer. I'm going to have to then... Probably, I think I need to make a couple of bronze hammers just to have on the shelf as well um, but we got plenty of materials I'm fairly certain yeah I got tons of tin got tons of yeah 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 we can do that no problem however I'm gonna have to go grab that so and I definitely heard a wolfie I don't know where it is I don't really care however uh, I am beyond being scared of wolves bears are so much more scary <laughs> Um, I'll be back in a second. All right, luckily it was still workable, so I managed to get back. Um, I'm not sure whether this is a van vanilla mechanic or not, um, but apparently that's the thing. So, of interest there. Um, definitely need to make these bronze hammers though so I think rather while they're cooling rather than so there hang on what can we make got one hammer mold or am I better off just doing ingots 
I suppose I could do two ingots and one hammer and do it that way, couldn't I? Um, yeah, again, there's this, this, this position of 55 copper to, yeah, okay. Um, well, it's a simple way of doing this, isn't it? We'll put that into there and then five tin is being optimum so one two three four five so that will give me three that allows us to get some more hammerage going but um yeah that was not something i'd, I'd want to encounter on a regular basis i think let's go with four get you lit Let's try and get it lit again. And get two of these. Actually, that works. I can replace the two I've used, can't I, out of my crafting. Again, I'm not really replacing them all, though. I will go and do some more mining for this. But as you can tell, we're not shy of materials. And uh, let's see... Well, this gets us now. I've been told that apparently there is some uh, meteoric iron pieces coming in. So we'll probably have iron before long, <laughs> which is quite scary. Anyway, I need to make no, not a bronze. Oh, good grief, copper. Man, I nearly made it some. Uh, good grief, that was very nearly a big mistake. I may need to stick another piece of charcoal in there as well at this rate. Good. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you try um, talking to your bubblegum at the same time. Um, all right, well, I'll be back as soon as I've got the copper sheet done and the uh, bronze stuff cooking and uh, yeah I'll see you in a moment. Alright got the two plates now there is one other thing which I found out recently and again we're not sure if this is a vanilla mechanic or not um, don't know why that is things but you use your watering can on a mould and it cools it down and that was somewhat interesting. Now there's actually no point to doing those two because I'm not gonna I'm just gonna make the one hammer and stick it on the shelf. Um just to replace the one that broke, I think. And that should be more than adequate. Uh Especially considering it caught me by such surprise. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Right, uh, now, what? Oh, yeah, definitely mine's epic. <laughs> Apparently. Right, so why do I want all of these? Well, I will show you. Um, let's go in here and pull this off and pull that on there um, is there a basket or something with little or to nothing in it just need a bit of temporary storage middle chest boop 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 okay apparently out booped Just empty this. Um, this is me, by the way, being pre overly precautious. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you try and do what I am going to do to this chest. So, this chest, if we have a, have a look at the chest. 
we have a wood to copper chest upgrade. Ex uh, upgrade a wooden chest to a copper chest. Mod extra chest. Some, some of that. One, two, three, four. Boop, 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 boop. And a boop, and a boop. Now, if we just have a quick peek in there, you'll notice that is eight, sorry, 16 slots. And that is now 6, 12, 24 slots. Now, if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and whack that in, that is a copper to tin bronze upgrade. Why are you not working? You better. Sneak and right mouse click. Sneak, right mouse click. Do I need to pick you up first? Let's see. Let's hope, see what happens if I pick you up and put you down. You should work. You're a copper chest. Okay, that's annoying. It's not the end of the world though. I can wait until we get an admin online and they can probably help me with that. So I'm not going to worry about it because worrying never solves anything. Uh, let's just progress as we intend to. So my plan is to head out into the world and do a little exploring. Now, if I, I always do that, journey map is not a thing. Um, if we look, I've not explored anything around this middle section. I've been out all the way up here, all the way around here. Um, I've done quite a big chunk of exploration up that direction. I was actually looking for limestone and it turned out to be Quite a bit closer than we thought. Um, that's where I'm wanting to set up home. So what I'm proposing, I think, is to come down. And that's a ruin, but that's going to have been discovered. Uh, it's got to be a ruin, that, that. But if we head down this way, which is over there, and uh, let's go see. I've got a bed. Um, I'm actually tempted before I go anywhere just to harvest the next batch of these. Um, plus it's also one o'clock, so maybe we're better doing that, to be honest. And we, we can uh, make the most of this. I also do need to go back to my, my house and get a few supplies together because I don't want to set off with broken shovels and things uh, you're ripe and you are ripe six of nine I don't even know what you do with those um, yeah we'll do that we'll just do a little bit of harvesting drop the food in and I'll set off in the morning back in a moment all right it's the next day um, I'll just never Notice these. Uh, <laughs> that chisel, I mean, that looks chiseled to me. Carved square. Yeah, I can't see anything called a carved square. That looks like a has been up to uh, chisel 
Anyway, I've while I was here, I harvested everything that had turned over the night. Uh, I think some more of that will harvest over the daytime. But we need to we need to get on and do some exploration. Um, I haven't got any teleportation mechanisms or anything, so I am going to be somewhat limited by my own leggies. Um, and as I've already intimated, there are bears, there are wolves. Uh, I've run into both already. A uh, bear gate took a fairly big chunk out of me um, the other day. Um, but luckily I managed to stab him. He ran away because, you know, he's a bear. Uh, and they they tend to be quite cowardly, uh, <laughs> at least they do in this game. Whether they're like that, you know, whether they what they what they really need is a short a short sharp slap on the nose, a spanking. You know, show them who's boss. Bit of Barbara Woodhouse. Um, uh, if you know what that is, obviously that's dating your generation, similar to mine. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. She was just the things I think. Let's go over. That's Gran's base. That's Gran was. Uh, was working over there. And I decided to build a little bit down the. Ooh, hello. Caves. Path. Okay. Somebody's already laying path. Now I'm fairly certain this was was uh, Gran who was making this. So yeah, this is Gran's starter base. Um, she did say she wanted to make it down the coast. Uh, I, I assumed things, but there's mine over there uh, and someone's path. So there is a path already appearing over here. Which is taking us to where? Obviously, looking for a bit of efficiency and speed in transit. Is this Apache? This might be Apache. It might not be Apache as well. Um, Uh, I thought this was Apache's, but it might not be. Anyway, this is somebody's, uh, and they have got all their animals ready in crates. Uh, whoever it is, they are familiar with the Chisley mod. So uh, that's all good stuff. Anyway, this is not getting me exploring. The bit that I have not explored yet, and this has only got uh, 7.1 hours. Let's have a chomp on one. So, yeah, um, I am finding server play very interesting. Um, the dynamic has shifted significantly. What do I mean by that? Well, let me try and put this into perspective. Hmm, interesting. Definitely been found by somebody. Um, but again, this close to spawn, I would expect a lot of these ruins to be found. The the dynamic I'm referring to largely relates to um what I've kind of intimated in previous Terra Firma Craft videos and also Vintage Story videos. And it largely comes down to this concept of... Hello, give me that. I'll eat that. This concept of medieval homesteading, you know, low technology, rustic survival. Uh, and largely, it's that this kind of survival, generally speaking, is not possible 
in a solo environment for any significant length of time. Now, the concept behind that is quite simple. There's so many, uh, there's only so many hours of daylight in a day, and there's certain jobs that require a certain amount of uh, effort of investment and oh, terror prater. Um, a certain amount of investment in both time and effort. Um, so, for example. Doing this burns calories, and calories are, when you are in a hand-to-mouth situation, one thing you cannot afford to burn. <laughs> you know, the, the principle is simple. <laughs> You're starving to death every day and you need to invest a certain amount of time and effort therefore in not starving to death and kind of when you say it it's bloody obvious isn't it but any activity you do has got to be productive and in terms of being productive it has to use less burn less produce more calories in form of food and everything then you burn really simple mathematics so if you are as an individual working like this there's lots of tasks you just can't do because you don't get enough return on investment for time and When you don't get a return on investment in time and calories, you end up starving. So, this is why humans have evolved into... Oh, hello, Brankle. Into um, herd or social animals. Because together we can accomplish far more than we can individually. And this game has kind of adequately proven it because tap, 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 uh, how much of do, do I want to grab this one I'm here I don't even know how much there is I mean obviously this slate there um or do I just want to have a nibble away at the edges here? This this exposed stuff is probably not going to be a massive amount. Then again, it could prove me wrong. Does it have any little go at proving me wrong here? Yeah, so the way this is working on the server is is interesting because in the space of two days we've achieved levels of productivity which I've only achieved previously in multiple episodes and days. Um, and that's it. The moment you... Oh, that's lead or rich. Mm, I'm going to mark that. Lead, a yeah, nice blue colour, safe. Right, let's not waste any more time on this because time is the other thing. So yeah, when there's multiple people doing things, one person can hunt, the other person can go out and, and gather. Um, another person can... Um, well... I mean, you know, it doesn't take a million miles to figure out that another person can be farming, another person can be smithing, and all of those things together 
become your kind of your savings as being that you get from being a community of of humans working together and wow it's copper down there this is a really rich area in terms of materials isn't it I mean quartz eh, is kind of nice six one half dozen taller to be honest that is poor so I'm not going to bother because I've got so much copper marked and this is all close to uh, all the people's bases anyway so it's having deliberately pinched all the brown coal um but yeah the you know we've achieved a huge amount in uh that came seemed to come from over that direction i think in what is a relatively short period of time and uh you know, I just find it very interesting as a di as a dynamic how that works out. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes on in the future because, you know, if you just look at the resource gathering, you know, that we needed a large amount of granite, for example, for the harbour. And between us as a group, we've just went bang, 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 and jobs are good and it's done. Now, just trying to get more brown coal there, look. Oh well, that's um, that's for another day. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, uh, the problem with this backpack thing is it requires you to take it off. <laughs> I'm never happy, Hammer. Not seeing a huge amount in this area that I hadn't previously uncovered, though. There's still a little bit down there. I don't know what that is, but let's continue. And what I'll do is I shall take a break in recording and I'll be back in a moment. All right, we're, we're down. Oh, hello. Did not know you were there. We are here on the map. I recently came over this way last time and round like that. So, But this time I've come this way, which means I've now found another trader. But I'm just trying to keep my ears open. Who are you? You are got anything to trade. You are the survival goods trader. So you buy bread and bowls with honey and tin ingots and stuff and you sell actually some nice nice things. Um Hmm, okay, but that's fine. Uh, he is a trader. Survival. So, yeah, as I say, I previously came around, wow, I've got a bit of a sandstorm going on here. Um, around over the top and this time I'm coming in from the side um, however I'm not being complacent because uh, he says can't see a thing for this sandstorm this is a really interesting effect um, because just because there wasn't anything lethal here before doesn't mean there can't be now so this we found uh, on our travels we did loot it for well loot <laughs> uh, it wasn't a huge amount it appears that the the ruins mod author has nerfed his his um, loot tables a little bit but there is uh, oh, I think he's up that side a translocator so this will hence why it's on the map with a squirrely squirrely squizzle squizzle icon um, and we came down this way now my the place I want to build is over that way but let's just go because there is I notice another ruin down here which I don't know whether uh, well it's on my map so possibly I mark this I don't know um, but there may even be another one further on down so
Hmm. I don't remember that being there. I do remember this being here though. Yeah, I definitely seen this. I just picked up that lead uh, from the chest with the fat in it. And empty. Yeah, I think that is a ruin down there that I've probably not spotted. So I might as well go and have a look. Um, I should probably keep that lead. I'll regret it if I don't. I know I will, because I always do. Oh no, I do remember that, yes. I did find that last time. Okay. And then we go across that way to get to where we're going. However, there is a suspiciously round hole over here and I've taken to checking them because apparently and who knew not me obviously um, meteors express themselves like this but that's not one um, yeah, so they express themselves in the world sometimes as a crater or crater-like hole. As I say, who knew, eh? Endivase, I am going to continue on this way a little bit. Um, it's get... Yeah, there's definitely drifters down there. Oh, gazelle. Now one of the things I am looking for, and this may take me a few episodes or even a few days of travel, but one of the things I'm looking for is bamboo. Because I took the hunter class and to make the compound bow you need bamboo. And I don't have any bamboo. So yeah, that's a that's a thing. Um but I suppose I had better try and find myself somewhere <laughs> somewhere to sleep the night away because this weather is definitely not conducive to any kind of survival. I mean, I could be walking into anything right now. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where, if anywhere, I'll find a cliff face or something. God, this is terrible. That doesn't help at all, does it? But if I kind of head over this way, I think there is, judging by the map, something a bit more mountainous. And one of the reasons I want to build in this area is quite simply because uh, I want sandstone. I want to be using sandstone as a, a major building component in my main base build. So I'm going to set up shop here for the night, uh, sort myself out a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll be back in a mo. All right, it's the next morning and there it is. That is the place I want to live. I also want to experiment with. Can I? Uh, I can. Oh, that is coming with me. Um, decorative bony cow skull. Absolute must for any desert build. However, there is a slight, uh, ever so slight, minor problem with this area. So when we had the world seat and we were scouting out the area, um, interestingly, Vintage Story doesn't doesn't replicate its ore veins and uh, any ruins or things in the same way. It's just the overall landforms and biomes, which means, from the point of view of scouting out a place where you might want to build a base, you know, you can have a look around, find where you. Borax. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Not 
going to stand out if I do it in uh, sticky in black and it doesn't really matter. And we've got copper, I'm not been marking the copper. The area that I wanted to build was in, off of that cave there and coming out here and using having a bridge coming across and the likes from where my entrance is. What we didn't get on the version that I did was, uh, let's see if you can see them because I can see them. Locust nests, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are an awful, awful lot of locusts there. Which I'd really rather not have to fight. Certainly not today anyway. <laughs> But we are going to have to deal with that if I am going to build here, which is somewhat annoying. Now, in terms of the map, there's the reason I've got this is you go, you've got this side, you've got desert, on this side, you've got green. So, in terms of getting wood, animals, we've got all the spawning side of that, and on this side, the actual style of builder that I fancy like building. So, I am going to continue just having a... Oh, that's the first shell I've seen for a while. I'm not going to pick it up, because I'm... Even with that chest on my back, which is almost now nearly full, I am uh, inventorially challenged. But, um, yeah, that was things. You've got copper in that mountainside there. I think that is, anyway. Let's go and have a look a bit closer. Yeah, that's definitely copper. Um, I don't know how good it is. It might be it might be poor copper. It might not be worth the effort of climbing up and mining, but it's still there and it's copper. So you know, be grateful for small mercies. And uh, let's just continue having a little look around, see what else we can find. Um, I'm not sure whether to try, I think I'm going to follow the desert round. I think the desert, much as my preference for deserts as an area of exploring in Minecraft, let's see whether this yields any, any bonuses for us hogging the edge of the desert. For one thing you shouldn't, no, I'm not going to say it, because if I say it, I'm just tempting fate, that's how, it, how that works. Um, we'll just stick to the, we'll hook around the desert. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying on the matter. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'll be back in a short while, but I'm not going to go vastly much further today. This is just going to be a little exploration, a little bit of chance to get out a bit of a chat, but the, um, I must say I am enjoying server play. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what we actually achieve as a group going forward because I think the the dynamics of a group is is very interesting anyway back in a bit that's not a nice sight is it we'll avoid him there's a wolf or something feels like over that way but that bear that bear can stay well away from me. I'm not sure as to the wisdom. Oh, this, uh, that's handy. Hang on, let me just mark this, even though there's a bear in there. Blue clay, bang, bang, save. Because we are going to want a source of clay in deserts so and not normally. Oh, and there's fire clay over there as well. Okay, I'll uh, I'll be able to spot the fact there's fire clay there, I'm sure. I hope. Uh, um, not sure why I'm so nervous with that great hairy thing wandering around out over there, but uh, let's just gently 
where am I now? Where was I aiming to try and get to? That's more to the point. I think what I'd like to do is try and swing around and back up to this. Because if I can get up to here, that takes me back to there. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm going to head this way. And again, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I found a clothing merchant who just happens to have Gambles and body armor for three gears. Uh, I think he's getting a sale. Um, however, I do need, I need to make myself some space to do this. Because you can't take your stuff off your... Oh, and you can't do that either. Okay, come here there. So I've got 29 gears, so that's good. Uh, I've also got some seeds, which should fit in there nicely. Uh, and... <laughs> what else have we got? Well, that can go away. I could munch on the svelte grain because it's probably not going to be that useful to get rid of that. All of that is munchable. Let us go and spend. I've got 29 whole gears worth of, of spendies. I want to buy that. Uh, and I want to wear that. Now my shirt is terrible, my coat is terrible, all of this is in terrible condition, so maybe we want to get some boots. Well, let's see what you got, because I've got 17 left. Merchant shoes, no. Leather braces, no. Merchant bracelet, no. Braces don't do anything anyway. Shepherd's tunic. Merchant pants, shepherd's pants, a traveller's robe, woolen scarf. One will take. I'll take that, that's ten, I've got seventeen. Uh, that gives me, I've still got four left. What can I buy? Minstrel's coat. Can't afford you. Shoes. I don't want merchanty shoes. Tunic or shirt. That's five. That's three. And then... Scarf. Don't think that really is. Robe. I think I have picked everything up. So that's in terrible. That's in terrible. That's in terrible condition. You know what? Uh, I wonder whether you can scrap these. You can. I was about to throw them away. I'm very glad I didn't. So... Right, now it's a matter of... Well, first things first, this is a clothing merchant. Um, and I need to head more or less straight north. Okay, see you in a moment. And with that, we get our raft out of our chest, because obviously you can fit a seven foot long log raft in a chest, which you carry on your back. Don't question it. It's, it just is, uh, and at least now we should be able to head more or less straight north and hit that desert 
where we should be able to head straight north over the desert and hit Shino's industrial district. I've not seen it yet, so uh, again, this is... And this is a really nice mechanic. Look, if I'm not carrying an ore, I can't go nowhere. I need an ore. Um, it's interesting there's a crude ore, but there's no actual refined ore, so... Maybe that's coming in a future update, you know, uh, things. And this is vanilla. This is just a standard feature. So uh, looking forward to that. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to Shino's. All right. So I'm not sure whether she knows showing this or not, but this is, uh, well, I think this must be Shino's base. It's, the, uh, it's in the right place for it. Um, not in highly sure how oh there through the door idiot um still being constructed by the looks of it so copper yeah this has got to be This has got to be thing, and then again, rather than running the risk, and I'm not, <laughs> that would be cruel, borrowing somebody else's raft, um, we'll, uh, we'll take our own, and uh, yeah, I'll have to catch Shino when he's on, uh, gotta say, that bronze thing should have worked so I don't know why it hasn't worked but um, yeah now it's just a quick run back to uh, to the harbour think that is still have not found any bamboo that is the wood that I want though uh, that is the white cypress I believe um, not enough what I need but I don't know what it is with the animals but they all seem to end up trying to get out to sea <laughs> which is really bizarre anyway I will see you when we get home and we'll just sum up but not not a huge episode in terms of doing things um, but you have seen at least where I want to live we've, we've explored a little bit around not found huge 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 amounts of stuff but so you know but uh, on the whole I think there's going to be some interesting builds coming on this uh, server as we go forward and I'm just curious as to so that was that Ah, okay. I did not know I could squeeze through that way. So, yeah, the uh, harbour is coming along. Um, doesn't work so well for somebody on a traditional uh, thing. But I think once the boat's in, because there's a plan to build a massive great ship and I think that will that will change things considerably but yeah set off that looks like he's ready to harvest so I'm going to harvest all of that lot um, and just twiddle around for a wee bit I suppose uh, just get myself sorted and situated and uh, well I'll catch you next time when hopefully well not hopefully we will do more <laughs> it is a, a done deal um, but as I say I need to sort out why that is not not playing and uh, I need to sort myself out so till next time thanks for watching I will see you soon bye for now